welcome back to my channel here i'll be showing you how you can construct an isosceles triangle when you are given the perimeter and the altitude how to construct an isosceles triangle given the perimeter and the altitude or the height of the isosceles triangle so here i will be using uh the perimeter or the perimeter will be 130 millimeters the perimeter will be 130 millimeters and the vertical height or the altitude of the isolation triangle will be 50 millimeters so let's look at how we are to construct this isolation triangle when the perimeter and the altitude are given okay so the first thing that i need to do here is to draw a horizontal line so draw a horizontal line like this and i'm going to call this end of the line I'll call it end A. So from this end A here, I'm going to divide the perimeter into two. So 130 by two, that will give us 65. So you take a measurement of 65 millimeters from point A here. So I said we have to divide the perimeter by two. So 130 by two give us 65. So this is 65 millimeters here. So I will call this point, I will call it point B okay so next thing i'm going to do is to erect a perpendicular line at b here a vertical line at b so i will draw a vertical line here so on this vertical line i'm going to take a measurement of 50 millimeters which is the height of the isosceles triangle 50 millimeters so i'll take 50 millimeters here so this is 50 so and i will call this point i will call it point c of the triangle so the next thing i'm going to do is to join ac together so join ac together like this okay so now having joined ac together i'm going to bisect line ac so i put the point of my compass at a extend to a convenient radius i will draw an arc here like this and i will draw an arc down here like this then the same radius at c here same radius at C, I will draw an arc here, and I will draw an arc here, like this. Okay, so I'm going to join the point on intersection of the arcs, I will join them together. Okay, so I join this together like this. Okay, now whatever the bisector of AC touches this line AB here, I will call that point so it touches it here so i will call this point i will call it point d so this is point d here so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my compass and take distance bd distance bd i will take distance bd with my compass so i put the viewpoint of my compass at b extend to point d here like this i will take this distance with my compass and i will turn it to this side and make an arc here on this line so this is point e okay so the next thing to do is to join cd together so join cd like this okay and i will join ce together like this okay then i will make be a thick line make be a thick line so looking at what we have here, so if I take a measurement of this line, so this line as I can see it here is 29 millimeters. That is DE is 29 millimeters. And if I take a measurement of CD, that is this is something like 51 millimeters. And also, so if I take this, this is also like 51 millimeters here. So if I add it together, is going to give me approximately uh 130 millimeters so this is how you can construct an isosceles triangle when you are given the perimeter and also the altitude of the isosceles triangle thank you for watching and thank you for listening god bless you